Looking around YouTube today, you'd think that the world of motorcycle racing has always been dominated by seasoned champions and seasoned teams. But there was a time when a young prodigy emerged from the humble beginnings of a small Australian town, destined to rewrite the MotoGP history books. This is the story of Casey Stoner, a name that would come to be synonymous with speed, skill, and sheer determination in the world of motorcycle racing. Casey Stoner's journey into the world of motorcycle racing began almost as soon as he could walk. At just four years old, he was already riding a bike, and by the age of six, he was competing in local races. This wasn't just a childhood hobby, it was a calling. His parents, recognizing his extraordinary talent and passion, were fully supportive. They traveled with him to various competitions around Australia, investing time, effort, and resources to help him develop his skills. During these early years, Stoner racked up numerous local and national titles, making it clear that he had a natural talent for the sport. His family, realizing that his abilities could take him far, began to consider more significant opportunities to nurture his talent. It was during this period that the idea of moving to the United Kingdom, a place with a more competitive racing environment, started to take shape. The decision to move to the United Kingdom was a monumental one for the Stoner family. Australia, while offering a decent platform for young racers, could not provide the level of competition and exposure that the European circuits offered. The UK was a hotspot for motorcycle racing and home to some of the most challenging tracks and competitive leagues in the world, such as the MotoGP World Championship. So, with a mix of excitement and trepidation, the family packed their bags and moved across the globe. This was not a vacation, it was a mission. They were leaving behind friends, extended family, and the familiarity of home to dive into the unknown. The stakes were high, but so were the potential rewards. Upon arriving in the UK, Stoner was immediately thrust into a more competitive and professional racing environment. The tracks were different, the competitors were tougher, and the level of professionalism was unlike anything he had experienced in Australia. The transition to racing in the UK was challenging. Stoner found himself competing against racers who had been exposed to this high level of competition for years. The initial years were tough. He had to adapt not only to the racing conditions, but also to a new culture and lifestyle. Despite the challenges, Stoner was determined. He knew he had to start somewhere, and this was his proving ground. His first foray into international competition came with the National 125cc GP Championships in Britain and Spain between the years 2000 and 2002. While he didn't set the track on fire immediately, he showed glimpses of his potential. It was a learning curve and each race provided invaluable experience. After gaining some traction in the 125cc category and winning the English 125cc Aprilia Championship, Stoner made the jump to the 250cc World Championships. This was a significant step up, but it was here that he truly began to make his mark. In the 250cc category, Stoner's performances started to turn heads. He was no longer just a young talent, he was becoming a serious competitor. His racing style began to mature, and he started to understand the nuances of competing at such a high level. The experience he gained during these years was instrumental in shaping him into the racer he would become. He began to win races and soon found himself on Lucio Ceccanello's team on a Works Aprilia. It was during this time that he also became a serious contender and a threat to the championship leader, Danny Pedrosa. And although Pedrosa would come out on top, Stoner's solid second place finish in the overall 2005 championship left many questioning how long Pedrosa would stay on top. After making a name for himself in the lower tiers of motorcycle racing, Casey Stoner took the next big step in his career by entering MotoGP in 2006. He joined the LCR Honda team, a move that signaled his arrival on the world stage. However, 
the rookie season was not without its challenges. The MotoGP circuit is a different beast altogether, with more experienced riders and faster bikes. Stoner had to adapt quickly to the new environment. Despite the steep learning curve, Stoner showed his mettle early on. In just his second MotoGP race, he shocked the racing world by taking pole position before crashing multiple times throughout the season. This was a clear indication that he was not just another rookie, but a serious contender that would do whatever it took to take him the medal. Throughout his first season, he continued to impress, although he also faced the inevitable challenges that come with being new to such a high level of competition. In 2007, Stoner made a pivotal career move by transitioning to the Ducati team, and it was like a match made in heaven. His aggressive yet controlled riding style seemed tailor-made for the Ducati Desmo Sedici GP7, a bike that had a reputation for being difficult to master. Stoner's ability to ride any motorcycle beyond its perceived limits was fully on display during this time. He won an astonishing 10 out of 18 races in his first season with Ducati, capturing the MotoGP World Championship and making him a household name in the sport. This was a monumental achievement, not just for Stoner but also for Ducati, as it was their first championship win. The victory was a testament to Stoner's skill, determination, and ability to adapt to different bikes and racing conditions. This was a bike that others struggled with, but Stoner seemed to have an almost telepathic understanding of its nuances. The video footage of Stoner's races during this period captures the essence of his riding style, aggressive yet controlled, always pushing the limits but never reckless. His ability to make quick decisions while navigating the twists and turns of the track set him apart from other riders. It was this unique combination of talent and tenacity that propelled him to the top of the MotoGP world. However, while Stoner's first season with Ducati was nothing short of spectacular, the subsequent years brought their own set of challenges. In 2009, Stoner was diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome, which forced him to take a break from racing and miss three Grand Prix events. The physical and emotional toll was significant, but Stoner's resilience was even more so. He returned to the track with a vengeance, finishing the season in a respectable fourth place despite the setbacks. His ability to bounce back from adversity was a testament to his mental toughness, a quality that would serve him well throughout his career. Another challenge Stoner faced during his time with Ducati was the bike's limitations compared to its competitors. While the Ducati was a powerhouse on the straightaways, it had its struggles with cornering and stability. This was particularly evident when pitted against the more balanced machines from Yamaha and Honda. Stoner had to continually adapt his riding style to compensate for these limitations, often pushing the bike to its very edge to keep up with or surpass his competitors. His ability to do so not only won him races, but also earned him the respect of his peers and the adoration of fans worldwide. Stoner's years with Ducati were transformative, both for him and the brand. He became the poster child for Ducati's racing ambitions, and his success helped elevate the brand's status in the MotoGP world. Despite the challenges he faced, from health issues to the bike's limitations, Stoner's time with Ducati is remembered as one of the most successful partnerships in MotoGP history. After a period of ups and downs with Ducati, Casey Stoner made a pivotal career move in 2011 by joining the Repsol Honda team. This transition was not just a change of scenery, it was a defining moment that would shape the next chapter of his racing legacy. Stoner adapted to the Honda RC212V bike with remarkable ease, showcasing his versatility and skill as a rider. The synergy between Stoner and his new bike was evident from the get-go as he won the season-opening Qatar Grand Prix. This immediate success was a sign of things to come, and it was clear that Stoner had found a machine that complemented his aggressive riding style. Stoner's 2011 season with Honda was nothing short of spectacular. 
He dominated the championship, winning 10 out of the 17 races that year. His performance was so overwhelming that he secured the title with several races to spare, ultimately finishing the season with a comfortable 90-point lead over the second-place finisher, Jorge Lorenzo. This second World Championship win was a testament to Stoner's sheer talent and the symbiotic relationship he had developed with his Honda bike. The Australian rider had not only made a successful transition to a new team, but had also reasserted himself as the premier talent in MotoGP. Just when it seemed like Stoner was poised for a long reign at the top, he shocked the racing world in 2012 by announcing his retirement at the young age of 27. The decision was not due to a lack of success or a diminishing skill set. Rather, it was a deeply personal choice. Stoner cited multiple reasons for his retirement, including the physical toll that the sport had taken on him and the desire to spend more time with his family. He also expressed disillusionment with the direction MotoGP was taking, particularly with the politics and the new regulations that he felt were diluting the sport's essence. Stoner's retirement marked the end of an era, not just for him but also for Honda, which had found in Stoner a rider who could bring out the best in their machines. Though his time with Honda was relatively short, the impact he left was indelible. He exited the sport as one of its greatest riders, and his 2011 championship season with Honda remains one of the most dominant in MotoGP history. And so, as the curtain closed on Stoner's illustrious career, he left behind a legacy of extraordinary skill, fearless riding, and an unquenchable desire to win qualities that were most vividly displayed during his time with Honda. After retiring from MotoGP in 2012, Stoner didn't completely step away from the world of motorsports. He took a brief detour into V8 Supercars, Australia's popular touring car racing series. However, it was clear that his heart still belonged to motorcycles. Eventually, he returned to the MotoGP paddock, but this time as a test rider for Ducati. In this role, he has been instrumental in helping the team develop their bikes, applying his deep understanding of motorcycle dynamics and racing conditions to improve Ducati's competitive edge. His work behind the scenes has been invaluable, proving that while he may have stepped back from competitive racing, his passion for the sport remains undiminished. Casey Stoner's impact on MotoGP is immeasurable. With 21 Grand Prix wins and two World Championships, his record speaks for itself. But numbers alone don't capture the essence of his contribution to the sport. Stoner brought a level of skill and a style of riding that was both unique and awe-inspiring. His ability to push a bike to its limits, often in conditions where others struggled, set him apart and earned him the title of the Silent Assassin.